The greatest problem in the church is that we live a life disconnected from society, therefore we never know what society needs. And so we're preaching a message, trying to answer a question that no one else is asking. Prophets help locate the question that people are asking so we can provide the solutions. There has got to be something burning within us that requires from us the inconvenience of his presence. That when the priests of old say, what did he say? We tell the truth. That we don't flatter you. That we don't impress through our words what God wants to change by his spirit. It's easy to look at a prophet up on stage and think, wow, how did they get there? And equate that simply to social media following. It's not that. There's a very real price that you've got to pay. But there are prophets who will be unknown, who will have crowns that will be so heavy on their head when the kingdom fully comes because they've been faithful in their place. We have got to reveal and represent God well. That's what a prophet does. The role of the prophet, as Walter Brueggemann says, is to provoke a society that has become anesthetized to feelings and to help them connect again to their feelings. Not medicate their feelings, not therapy their feelings away, but connect them to it because it's in the discomfort of your feeling that prophetic imagination is unlocked.